State College is a, a, a diverse community of about 43,000 residents, home of Penn State University. Uh, it's about four square miles, so we have a, a high population density here of almost 10,000 uh, people per square mile. So it's, uh, it has uh, in some ways an urban feel, but still a, a, a rural community. Penn State University really is uh, uh, the reason that State College exists. So as Penn State has grown, State College has also grown. The sustainability in, in State College has, has really focused on a variety of different activities, including uh, making sure that we have a sustainable community, sustainable neighborhoods, uh, as well as environmental sustainable, social justice, and all of, all of the other elements that, that would make sure that this community is a strong, vibrant community that can support uh, the people that live here. Uh, we, we're operating one, if not the first, one of the first organic waste uh, programs, organic recycling programs uh, in east of the Mississippi River. It's been a, a real innovative program and has allowed us to divert a tremendous amount of food waste from the waste stream uh, as part of our overall sustainability programs. In looking at sustainable practices within the borough, we have a sustainability committee that is comprised of all departments in the borough. Uh, so that each person from each department brings something to the table on how we might be able to improve, improve upon uh, our practices, whether it be in the finance department, police department, or public works. Public works was one of the, on the forefront of recycling. Uh, we were doing, you know, promoting recycling before it really became popular, uh, but through education, and through markets, we were able to increase recycling and participation in recycling. And encouraging a healthy, active lifestyle, uh, the borough maintains a sidewalk network encouraging people to walk to work and also providing bicycle amenities such as bike lanes and bike parking in the downtown. Well, I think one of the one of the real key things that we've focused on here in State College is is creating strong neighborhoods and, and building community within those neighborhoods. Uh, in, in a college town, there are often conflicts between uh, residents. Uh, a lot a lot of that comes about because of, of the demographics of the community, the the age differences, and we've worked really hard in this community to uh, to engage the community in ways that students and non-students alike uh, uh, improve the quality of the of our neighborhoods and and take steps. To, to really strengthen those, those neighborhoods. We've established relationships with the off-campus student union by having them volunteer on a daily basis. Uh, we do presentations for them every Tuesday at their meetings. We serve as kind of a mentor, a speaker, guest speaker, and we also participate in their roundtable discussions and their neighborhood forums. One of the things that uh, I started to work on is a project to bring permanent residents together with the fraternities in our neighborhood. And so we started a neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor program in the Highlands. And we pair a permanent homeowner with a fraternity. And that fraternity then has someone to contact uh, in the uh, Highlands area and it allows the fraternity uh, uh, fellows to get an idea that we're not just passing through, we live there all the time, and yet we also then learn to appreciate people that are passing through and want to see that as their home for four years. Our Dean of Undergraduate Studies at SMEAL, which is our business school of the Penn State University, came to us and presented the idea that we should go out in the community and clean up after home football games because there is a dire need of just like helping picking up trash. We're trying to really expand upon sustainability in our local community and we're trying to give back because it's just how we benefit. We're engaged in a number of different partnerships. Uh, we have partnerships with, with the other municipalities uh, that, that are in this region. Uh, the, uh, the center region, the Sklo Center Region Library is an example of, of, of an outstanding partnership where all of the municipalities in the region have come together. Well, back in 2005, this community invested $11 million 
in a beautiful state-of-the-art 37,000 square foot library and it's been dubbed downtown's living room because this is a major destination place in downtown State College. Considering the number of people that live in this municipality, our statistics are very high. We have over 400,000 people a year come into the building. So when you benchmark us compared to other similar sized communities, our library does very well. Well, I think this is a, this is a community that really uh, values and respects uh, the individuals within the community. It's a community that values innovation. It's a community that uh, isn't standing still. We're, we're continuing to work together every day to move forward. Uh, and make this a better community uh, and, and be engaged with one another to uh, ensure that we have a high quality of life here in State College.